we're going to talk about health and wellness. Man, it's been a journey for me. We're going to talk about why you and I need health and wellness to be a priority in our lives. It's not optional. It's not just about looking good. It's not just about being a certain physique. It's not just an external conversation. And we're going to talk about my top three tips for setting health and fitness goals. And really more importantly, having an intention around your health and fitness and making it your lifestyle plan. You know, I've gone in and out of health being my victor and like the bane of my existence. I, I felt at times as if I were a superhero or a super shero. And at other times I felt like if I'm superwoman, then my health is my kryptonite. I mean, I've gone from one end of the spectrum to the other. There are times when all I wanted to talk about was what I was eating and how I was cooking and, and my training regimen and the strength and what I'm taking in. And there are other times when I dare you to mention the word weight. Like it's been such a huge thing for me. I realized though, I got very, very clear that if you're going to have a purpose on this earth that you choose to live out. And if you're going to play big, be a gladiator, be a change agent, stand and embrace the fact that you're a unicorn. If you're going to lead or if you're going to effectively even follow a great leader, your health and wellness is the vehicle. If you are getting on a cross country trip, like I'm about to go cross country. We're going to drive about 3,000, 4,000 miles. The first thing you're going to do is check and make sure that the vehicle that you're traveling in can get you where you're going. When I realized that our, your, my health and wellness, our body is the vehicle that gets us to our life purpose. And now I want to share with you my top three tips for setting health and fitness goals. Number one, be realistic. Most of the times we're not unrealistic on maybe the weight we want to release or the inches we want to shrink or the toning we want to achieve. Where we're unrealistic is the timeline in which we will have it done in. I'm not saying set goals that you can blow past and they don't stretch you, but I am saying set a goal that stretches you, but doesn't stress you. Oftentimes by our own goals, we set up an innate stress level. Like we increase our stress level. Your goals should not stress you. Your goals should stretch and inspire you. Oh, someone should have told me that 19 years ago. So if you want to release 20 pounds, release 20 pounds, but let's not say we're going to release 20 pounds in three weeks while you can, the stress level increases and guaranteed when you're going all in, in one area, there's two other areas, three other areas suffering. And so the number one tip is to set realistic goals. Number two, get an accountability community. So many times, I walked alone in my health journey. And so there was no commitment to anyone. There was no one knowing what I called important to me. It was a secret. It's so crazy how the things that matter the most to us, we keep a secret. At least I've done that. And so get a community. I'm inside of my own health and wellness journey right now to say, look, I released a lot of weight five years ago and then I got really busy again. And then my health went on my back burner again and I gained some weight. Someone lost 20 pounds and I found it and I need to return it to its rightful owner. The second thing is to get an accountability community to cheer you when you wake up and you do 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 45 minutes to cheer you when you make the choice for green vegetables over the burger or the chicken or the ice cream to cheer you when you have one extra glass of water. We don't have to make 180% leap. Celebrate the needlepoint moves because enough needlepoint moves land you in a different place. And the third tip, the third tip is to be willing as I've been willing to press reset. 
you're gonna get distracted. You may start off running fast and then slow down. You may run into a hiccup, but there's no reason to turn a speed bump, something that would slow you down into a stop sign. Press reset. That's what I'm doing. I go back at it and go, you're a human experience, Lisa. You're, a, you're an imperfect person having a perfect experience. And in the perfect experience of an imperfect person, we need to keep our finger on reset. You get to press reset on your health journey a thousand times. And as you do that, remember that, and as you do that, remember that you're not alone in the journey. I invite you to join me. Let's get crazy healthy together because your purpose, your life purpose requires your health and wellness. When I got that, when I got Lisa, your life purpose requires your health and wellness. Oh, then it stops being optional. Let's make your health, my health, our health, non-negotiable. Here we're having courageous conversations. This is a dialogue. I would love Love to hear from you. Did I trigger something in you? Are you gonna join me? Are we gonna jump in together? Are you ready for something new? Did you not connect the dots the way I hadn't for a long time that your purpose can only be lived out if your health and wellness is intact? What was the biggest aha for you from this episode? Leave me a comment below. I love going through your comments. And be sure to subscribe and look out for more delicious, dynamic conversations in the future. After all, this is your home and we are your tribe.